Hey, good morning everyone. It is bright and early. We are getting ready to road trip over to the east side of the state and today we're going to be checking out Wayne State University's Mortuary Science Program. Give you a little tour of the campus facility and check in with um, someone that's on staff and with some students today. Let's go. Here in the restorative art room and this is one of the classes that most people anticipate getting to take when they head off to mortuary school because you get one of the heads here and you get to build up the clay over it and create whoever it is that you choose to create out of the wax and so you do the hair you do the nose and the ears, a lot of people get stuck on those darn ears or lips, they're hard parts. Um, but this is the class that a lot of people look forward to because you get to get really hands on and restore and create somebody. In the lab so the embalming lab no residents at the current um, so when the students come in for lab then they will bring out the deceased that they have in the cooler ready to be prepped and then either as teams or small groups do the embalming lab class and so then the instructor will be in here overseeing so they're they always try to maintain a student to teacher ratio that they have to have when they're in here in the embalming lab. And so you may have, you know, four or five students, depending how many students are in the class at once on a body working. Um, but right now they have a caseload, so they have two teachers in here overseeing the students, which is awesome to have that resource. So if one teacher is helping another group, the, you know, the second group can also have a teacher in helping them. like a dressing and casketing room. So they have all these racks of clothing that have been donated. So they can then use some of the deceased that are here to do a mock dressing, casketing, cosmetizing, to kind of go through all of that process. Hey guys, so I just took my tour around the facility here at Wayne State University with Anita. And Anita is kind of the first person that a lot of people encounter here on campus because she runs the office and she may be the one that fields your phone call when you call. She may be the first person you meet when you walk in the doors and she is such a gem. She's so sweet. One really cool component of the campus here is their museum. So a lot of funeral homes when they're maybe cleaning out or when people are shopping at antique places they find funeral home memorabilia of 
you know, old time embalming ways, old time funeral ways, just things that were used back in the day that have been replaced with new technology, new merchandise, new items. And they have basically gathered and chronicled a lot of these things here so that students can look at the past, learn what used to be used, learn what was the way before because if you lose power maybe you have to go back to a gravity bottle embalming or maybe someone references when you're making arrangements something that their mom or grandma had back when they were young and maybe they want to use or they want to know what it was and so you then have the knowledge to talk about it and reference it because you've seen one or you know what it looks like or you know what something was used for. So it's really cool to know those things and to have exposure hands-on and a visual of what those items were like. My name is Mark Evely. I'm the Mortuary Science Program Director and also the Chair of the Department of Applied Health Sciences. Okay. And you have a law degree? I do. And a Mortuary Science degree. Yes. So what led you to combine the two? I always wanted to be a lawyer. I okay. uh, started working at a funeral home in high school as a job and kind of progressed into doing more and more and getting an interest in it and decided to do mortuary science for my undergrad degree and have worked in a funeral home since I was 15 continuously. I can't imagine ever not working in a funeral home. Very common story that a lot of people have kind of just foot in the door and then you can't ever get it out again. We are one of the few bachelor degree programs, uh, one of the few regionally accredited bachelor degree programs uh, in funeral service in mortuary science and we also have the option for students to take our entire program online. So that's a good feature for people who either really like online courses or just because of work or life commitments need to take courses online because they can't be on campus. So you can do the whole program online? Yes. Through you now. And then how much do they need to come in for the lab portion? So they would come in for orientation one day and then for two weeks at the end of the program. During the duration of the program we certify a funeral home as a preceptor site near where the student lives and that's where they take care of all of their clinical requirements both embalming and funeral directing. We send a faculty member, usually me, goes to the funeral home, provides training, goes over our practicum manual, the, all the expectations, and does an inspection of the funeral home. Is there a parameter from where the student lives that you choose a funeral home within that area, or does the student have to provide you a name of a funeral home? Yeah, the student has to provide the name of a funeral home that's willing to serve as the preceptor site, if it's outside of the Metro Detroit area. If it's in Metro Detroit, we have a network of funeral homes that we've used as clinical sites for quite a while, so we'll utilize one of those. So why would a student choose if they live near the college to not go to the college? Why would they choose then to do it online? Various reasons. Some, some students actually thrive taking classes online. Some have work commitments, life family commitments that doesn't allow them to physically be on campus even though they may be geographically located near campus. I mean, our, our program has been in existence since 1939, so almost 80 years. Um, you know, throughout that time, generations of funeral directors have, have graduated from this program and went on to, to serve their communities with care and distinction. We're very proud of that heritage. Um, we take particular consideration to assessing the program as well. Okay. So we actually listen to student feedback and make changes and improvements to the program based on what students tell us. We're in Midtown Detroit, which is the place to be. Um, businesses, professionals are moving into this area. Okay. This area has been rapidly expanding over the past five years. Anything that you could want to do is in downtown Detroit. Um, you have the major sports, entertainment venues, restaurants, anything that you want to do down here it's here. And okay. so students find a real benefit in that. Okay. Do most students kind of move down to this area to stay or are they commuting from out the ones that do attend in class session? It's a mix. Um, some students live here on campus. Some live in funeral homes that are, you know, a little while away from campus. Some live at home still or, or in other housing that's off campus in, in the metro Detroit suburbs. Um, so it's a good mix between the two. Okay, and you're connected in with the larger university where some mortuary student schools are kind of standalone, smaller 
units. Right. What pros are there to being attached to the university? Well, it's all of the resources of a major, you know, state-run research-intensive university. So in terms of student services, any type of student service that you could think of, we have academic tutoring, writing center, library, um, health and wellness, psychological counseling, um, anything that a student needs, resources to support them in succeeding in the program, we have here at Wayne State. So it's our infrastructure, I think, is, is definitely a strength. You know, the backing that we have from the state of Michigan um, is a strength. And the network of professionals, both within our discipline and throughout disciplines here at Wayne State, allow us to kind of get cross-trained and cross-educated um, in many different areas, which I think enriches the student academic experience. Now, we have many students that once they're out of school, maybe once they're out of school a year, five years, ten years down the road, want to go on and get another degree, whether it's a, a psychology and counseling degree or an MBA or something else. And a bachelor's degree that's regionally accredited affords them the opportunity to do that. Mm -hmm. They can transfer their credits. So that's a definite plus. And being able to take the program online with the result being a regionally and ABFSC accredited bachelor's degree, I think that's a definite strength in the program. Another strength is our faculty. Um, we have faculty who are national speakers, nationally known in, in their various disciplines, and we're very proud of that. We, we have as one of our principal goals to remain engaged in the profession and contribute to the profession uh, in an ongoing and meaningful way. I think a huge part of learning about individual campuses for mortuaries is schools is talking to some of the students. So we're going to grab some of the students as they're getting out of their class, try and hear a little baby from them as to why they like the mortuary school here. I like the labs in the smaller setting and our one-on-one -on -one experience that we get with the cadavers. Wayne State School of Mortuary Science has always been known to be the best in the country. and they have produced several successful morticians. I have several in my family and this is just following the tradition. My favorite part about it is the small class size. Um, my prior college experience, I didn't have a lot of help with my classmates, but the small group setting, everyone works together and the teachers work together with us, so it makes the heavy content easier to get by with people helping. Once again, I'm so thankful that Wayne State Mortuary School program allowed me to come on campus, tour, talk to people, and give you a look into their program here. If you have questions about the Mortuary School program, uh, there will be email addresses and phone numbers and addresses posted below and also at the end of the video, so make sure you email over to them or you're always welcome to reach out and contact me and I will answer anything or seek the answer for you. Thanks for joining me today, everybody. Bye.